let's talk about your files for a minute. On your PC, you had a program called Windows Explorer. And you could use that to navigate to whatever folder you wanted and open the files that were in there. Well, there's a very similar program on the Mac, and it's called Finder. Finder is this happy blue smiling guy right here. So whenever you want to work with your files, all you have to do is click on him. And a Finder window will open. By default, you're going to go to a special folder called All of My Files. This is not actually a folder on your computer. It's just a compilation of all of the files that are on your computer. So that's a great place to look for files. Now on the left here, let me drag this out so you can read it a little better. You have a bunch of favorite folders. And you can drag any of your folders on your computer into this favorite section and kind of make bookmarks. So we've already talked about the desktop but you can click here to go to your documents folder or the downloads to get the things that you've saved off of the internet. But I'm going to come back here to the documents folder and I'm going to show you some and I'm going to show you something that's really neat on the Mac. The Mac has these different finder views. So you're probably used to seeing something like this on your PC, little thumbnails, right? Or a list view with information about each file. But this column view is very useful on the Mac because you can click on a folder and it'll open that folder's contents in the next column. And then if you click on a file, that file will give you a little preview in the next column and some information about that file. In this case, this is a, an image file, like a JPEG, and I even get the dimensions of this image, which is 600 by 600 pixels. I get the size of that image as well. This view in Finder is really useful, and as you switch from your PC to your Mac, I would encourage you to use this column view because it gives you a lot of information and really keeps you organized with your files and your folders. So that's our tip for today. Use the Finder when you want to work with files and folders.